Hey there, folks. Uh, it's Alka Sam here. I, I, I gotta do some zine stapling. I'm going on the road in a few hours, really. I got a short bit of sleep ahead of me, and then I get an early train. But I, I thought I would record making zines, which I haven't done in a long time, but used to do all the time. And, uh, You can see my little jig I've got set up here. So I've got my covers and the pages in sequence. This is a rotating stapler that's gaff taped to the board at a measurement so that I can use the edge to true. I've got a corner here for truing and a place to stack my stuff. Everything is uh, clamped down um, to keep it steady. This is a standing table improvised. It's a, a base of an old big easel that I found on the street. And I've added a top to it's like a nice little bench. So covers. Whoops. Keep your fingers from being too dry. It'll help you pull pages apart. Always check to make sure everything's facing the right way a couple of times before I get the rhythm step going. I don't have like a total clean edge here to the bottom. I wonder if I could probably clamp that down. I probably will do that after this video. I'm going to clamp that hard so it stops here. And that, I've got to remember, I'm supposed to be doing it this way. That's right. Yes. So cover here. I want the true edge on the front. I'm going to bring it around. Use a nice square fold. This is a blunt butter knife for truing the edge. Gives me a nice sharp point, which helps me see. I need to put another light in here still. Over my shoulder. And there we go. Ta da! So that's going to make these. It's a collection of the first five pages of uh, Art Challenge that I was doing some other folks. So make sure you focus on that. And oops, there we go. Um, yeah, it's got a little, some blurbs and some comics that I've done real quick over the first five days of this art challenge. And I'm a little behind, but I'm going to be on a train, so I'm going to catch up while I'm on the train for the last three days, I think, three or four days. I think it's three days. Um, today will be four. And, uh, yeah. I'm pretty happy with that. It's fun. Fun to do that again. I had these all printed up at a shop. Uh, they were done so that I could print 25 sheets of covers for 100 sheets of guts and get uh, 100 zines. Um, pretty cheap. And then I like doing this little binding meditation thing. You, you can have them do it. But I want to do it. I'm going to probably do some... I'm going to do more of the challenges, and then I'm thinking I might make a couple zines out of this. And FBDM is in three weeks. So maybe I'll have that there. Is it two weeks? Is it really two weeks? I think it's more like two weeks. I might have another zine, at least one more zine. Um, so yeah, I've got to get to it. But that's this is how you correlate and bind zines. So when I've got a sponge, got some water in the bottom, and that's me. Without having to lick my hands all the time, and a little dry paper. Got a shelf underneath here so I can reach down. And that helps me a great deal, just quickly lifting the pages. Don't need to do it all the time, but periodically. I 
just got this as a very cheap model, one of these rotating staplers, but it's pretty good, but it takes a bit of force. I'm not going through that many sheets, so that would be a note about this particular brand. Um, cheapest generic one on Amazon, but I don't use it often enough to invest in an expensive one. But it's, an, it's a cool model that just became available. I saw other people talking about it and I was like, oh, that's perfect for what I'm doing. I gotta get me one of those. So I'm doing these, this batch of 100 with just gray covers for TCAF. And I'm gonna draw more zine covers. Or zine, sorry, more zines with the, this May Free Art. This is one of the motivators I've decided to adopt for myself because this is a fun reward. And have at least two at FBDM in a couple weeks. And those I'm going to gussy up with a nicer, heavier weight cover and charge. Not very much for. Um, I haven't decided the price yet, but these are very cheap to make, so I can afford to have a fair number of them for a very low price point. Oh, out of staples. Ah. Dang. Just, oh, no, I can do this. That's right. Ha ha. <laughs> No, you're not out of staples. You've got lots of staples. What's going on? This is something you should never do. <laughs> okay, so I put it in the light and I can see much better what I'm doing. I have done 30 of these guys now. And with 30 of those done, I want to Go a little faster because I got to do a whole bunch of these tonight. Um, so I'm going to turn off the camera. I don't worry about editing too much more, but that'll make my little video presentation of uh, setting up my zine printing jig um, to make copies of the zine, which will go to a limited number of folks. Any people will buy, I buy books from at TCAF, I'm going to probably give them one in exchange. That's, I think, is the rule as long as I have some. I don't plan buying quite that many books, so it should be enough. And then handing them to a few folks. Um, and uh, yeah, I've, I've given five to Ange out of this batch. So that leaves me with 95 to play with. And uh, if I see you in Toronto, I'll ask for this May Free Art. I might have some still. And uh, say hi. And this is how you, this is how you bind a zine, a little, little homemade zine. I mean, homemade. I went to the coffee shop. But, you know, you could do this on your printer if you want, but the ink isn't as stable, so it's not as best. Right. So it's all good, Sam. Go check out this May Free Art uh, hashtag and see what else has been posted. And if you make some stuff, use the hashtag and post it. And we'll see you later. <laughs>